Welcome to another MP4Nation.net play and review. Today we have the new Set W800 cell phone. Uh, as you can see right here, it has GPS built in. Uh, it, it's a tri band phone with a 2.8 uh, QVJ screen. It has Windows Mobile 5.0. Again, GPS, you can check your email, your stocks, you know, it plays MP3, MP4, MP4 MPEG, AVI, and it has GPRS for internet browsing. And it also has Java 2.0 support. So, anyway, here's the box. And it's absolutely colossal. This thing is just huge and heavy. I'm sorry to say that if you buy this from us, you're not going to get it in this box. We're going to repack it in our normal small gift box because the box is just so huge and so heavy. It's just adding unnecessary to the cost of shipping. Uh, if you specifically really want this box, if you come in this box, then when you place an order, just let us know. All right, we will send it if you really do want it. But anyway, here are the contents. Uh, it comes with a very big, very thick Chinese manual. But on the CD-ROM that comes with this, uh, there is an English PDF version of the of the manual. Uh, it comes with this little handout pamphlet, quick start guide, but it's also in Chinese. Uh, it actually, and this is another one of the big things it comes with. It comes with a PDA stand, as you can see, and you use it, I guess, with the uh, uh, in your car or maybe even at home, whatever the heck you want to use it for, but basically it's intended for your car. Uh, it comes with a GPS antenna. The GPS module is built in, but you have to use the antenna to make it use uh, to make it work fine, especially if you're indoors or in a car. Uh, it comes with a two-pin charger. If you're in Europe, we'll send the uh, the right the, the two-pin round, or UK the three-pin uh, to you. It comes, with, uh, it comes with two sets of batteries. There you go. Two batteries. Uh, your hands free headphones. And a car charger. So, this thing does actually come with a lot of extra sex accessories. Uh, here's the phone itself. Let me just get everything out. Here's the phone itself. Uh, from what I've been told, it seems to be a similar design to that of a HTC phone that's been out, I guess. Uh, it's actually very nice, very good build. I've actually started to use the W800 myself as my own personal phone because I just found the Windows Mobile really nice and I like the fact, you know, I can check my emails and screens right and uh, anyways, actually this is my phone, actually. <laughs> so you'll see some little third party apps I'll show you on this. Uh, let me, the battery, SIM card, see W800. Uh, this particular phone's made in Taiwan, so let's see. Made in Taiwan, so it's a better build than your general other set phones that we've had in the past. Put it in there, and the battery. Just in. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm doing it wrong. Ah, there we go. And you see, it has. Windows Mobile. It has a two megapixel camera. This is where the up here is where the GPS unit has dual speakers. It does have a stylus pen down here. Uh, you will need to use it because of the screen size and the font of Windows Mobile. It becomes very tedious to use your fingers. Uh, your USB port here, your microphone slot, your on off button, uh, your screen, you know, your navigation buttons down here, your quick access buttons. Uh, your uh, T flash card, your micro SD slot, you can add up to an additional 2 GB of memory. This comes with built in, I believe, 128 MB internal memory. Your volume buttons, your, uh, your still camera, and your video camera uh, quick buttons. I'll just turn this on. And it does take about, uh, about a minute, uh, not a minute really, 30 seconds to uh, turn on. It is Windows Mobile, so you know, it goes through the whole spiel of loading, I guess. Um, basically, you know, the, the battery is really good on this. Uh, like I said, I personally use this phone now, and I charged the battery once, and it's still, you know, very good, still healthy, as it were. So, it's only the initial first time you have to load it, it takes a bit up. And here we go, it's all loaded up, and let me just zoom in here. Uh, let me just show you, you can use this navigation button actually to scroll down and, you know, you can use it like that if you really want. Uh, 
then you can just zoom in and let me get the stylus pen out you don't always need to use the stylus pen but you know especially for the small things like if you want to start entering your details and stuff using the the QWERTY keyboard down here it becomes a little tedious to use your fingers just because of the size of the icons and stuff it comes with preloaded with a lot of uh, applications uh, it does have win uh, Windows uh, Media Player mobile it does have Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, mobile, a couple of games. Uh, it does have TomTom Tom GPS software in this, so you know it already comes with a software unit. But I don't know how up to date the software is. You're probably best off using or downloading a third party app uh, for where you are, if you really want to use a GPS on this. It does have Internet Explorer, camera, um, your paint. It does have Bluetooth, uh, your voice recorder, and stuff like that. MSN. There you go. Uh, basically, you know, this is basically a standard Windows Mobile 5 uh, on this uh, phone. So if you've ever seen Windows Mobile 5 operating before, this phone can do exactly the same. So you can load third-party applications um, to your heart's content. I mean, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of third-party apps for this uh, device. Uh, let me just show you one that I did load on, and that's uh, Point UI. It basically is this is Point UI. It's basically a skin that runs on top of uh, Windows Mobile. I think it's a fantastic little skin. Uh, it's uh, freeware. You know, you can download right off the internet. It's still an alpha release, so there's still more to come for this. But you can download other themes that you know. Some make it look like the iPod Touch. Others are completely different. But this one's particularly made to be used with your finger, and not stylus. So you know, it's it's really smooth on this phone. It, it works fantastic. You know, there's no issues. Let me show you. The biggest, you know, it basically just runs right on top of Windows Mobile, you know, so, and you can just, with satellite, and you can just easily scroll, so, has that touch flow, <laughs> as it were, and see, whatever you select, it basically just goes right into Windows Mobile, so, it's a very slick interface, and so you have your Internet Explorer, messaging, phone, quick messaging, you know, it goes into Internet Explorer, there, exit, and your settings, and you can go right into your personal settings for Windows Mobile, or your customize it, Windows Mobile system, you know. So it's quite nice. It's a very slick interface. You know, uh, the the weather automatically updates if you want via GPRS. You can check your messages. You can use a phone. You know, set your uh, Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi, but your uh, Bluetooth and stuff. Again, this phone doesn't have Wi-Fi, just in case you just, you know, it uses GPRS for internet services. Uh, you can sync this phone with your Outlook Express and stuff. It does work with uh, Microsoft Active Sync, uh, so you can any third-party apps that need Active Sync to be installed on Windows Mobile will work on this puppy. All right. Uh, again, it's a really nice phone. It's a solid build. It's got a good weight about it. It's it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, the overall finishing is nice. Uh, it does come with a one-year warranty, so if anything does happen, uh, you know, any defects in the workmanship, we'll fix it. So, and there you have it. Basically, it's a cheap Windows Mobile 5 cell phone with GPS if you want to use it. <laughs> anyway, this is a W800, uh, the set W800. Uh, head on over to mp4nation.net if you're interested in this, or head on over to our forums to discuss this phone. All right, thank you.